New at 10 o'clock, a man accused of murder is now fighting to stay alive. Eric Cano has a terminal illness and wants to spend his final days at home and not behind bars. But so far, a judge has refused to make that happen. KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry is at the Harris County Jail tonight with why attorneys argue he should be able to get out. That murder suspect spent the last month and a half in the hospital with a failing liver, but came back here to the jail just two days ago when his defense attorney says doctors gave him two weeks to live. 40 year old Eric Kano is accused of the October 2020 shooting that killed Rogelio Ramirez in Pasadena, shot twice in the face, discovered by his mother after drinking led to a fight between the men. But tonight, Kano is on his own deathbed. His attorney says with liver cirrhosis, other organs failing and internal bleeding. This man is completely and utterly bedridden. So bad he couldn't make it to the courtroom Wednesday when his attorneys argued he should be released to die at home in hospice care. This man is obviously no safety threat to any community. He can't even get out of bed on his own. Kano posted his original $250,000 bond after his arrest, spent nearly two years free awaiting trial. But after showing up to scheduled court and no violations, according to his attorney, last year, Judge Ramona Franklin quadrupled his bond to $1 million and brought him back into custody. The judge must have taken a look at the entirety of his criminal history and made a decision and judges have to make tough decisions. Mr. Ramirez's family, they will never ever see him. I feel for that family, it's tough to lose a loved one. However, that doesn't make what we're doing here right. Kano's attorney argues it's oppressive, especially when his client may have only days to live. We wouldn't even treat a dog like this. You wouldn't take a dying dog and lock him in a cage. Kano's murder trial is set for August, but his attorney says he doesn't think he'll make it that long. Tonight, we have not heard back from Judge Ramona Franklin's office. At the jail, I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News.